Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Ravage and Laserbeak. And this decal set includes four decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Soundwave both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Ravage and Laserbeak look pretty good, though Laserbeak looks a lot better. Taking a quick look at Ravage first, Lots of nice paint applications, especially back here on the rear legs with all the silver details. And he's got the silver launchers, some gray painted eyes, a Tampagraft 60 right there for tape mode. And he's got a purple Decepticon logo there. Really not much to look at. There's some detailing here on top. I like the fact that this Ravage actually transforms into a tape instead of a shield like Siege Soundwave, Siege Ravage, excuse me, but still the figure leaves a lot to be desired. Laserbeak, on the other hand, looks great. Look at all the paint applications there for the wings. Damn product number right there, very blatant. Purple Decepticon insignia on the forehead. Love the yellow eyes. Actually love the head sculpt on this Laserbeak figure. He looks so good. Silver right here for the back. And really, that is it for the paint applications. So there you go, guys. There you have Ravage and Laserbeak in robot modes before and after. Now, in robot mode here, Ravage doesn't really get any new decals for the robot mode specifically. All the new decals you see are for his cassette mode. But they do show up there on the legs and on his back. But I'll go into more details with those decals in his cassette mode. Laserbeak, on the other hand, gets a brand new silver decal right there. A decal right here on his chest. It looks like a video camera. A decal that covers up the product number. Decals here on the back tail fin sections. And he gets new eye decals. And man, those were a challenge to put on but they do look really good. I love how they catch the light. So there you go, guys. Ravage and Laserbeak in robot mode after. In cassette mode, straight out of the packaging, Ravage blows Laserbeak out of the water. Ravage actually looks like a cassette. You got the MC60 up here in the corner. Japan. You got the little marks right there where the tape would be. You got the details that look like the spools. I mean, I dig it. Ravage looks pretty good in this mode, at least from the front. From the back, not so much. Laserbeak, on the other hand, he's just, all his details are the same details he had in robot mode, just folded up into a rectangle. So there you go, guys. Ravage and Laserbeak in cassette mode before and after. Now in cassette modes, Laserbeak here doesn't get any decals. So we'll be focusing our attention here on Ravage and he gets a lot. He looks fantastic now, just like a micro cassette. There are all kinds of decals that Ravage gets. So you really wanna pay attention to where everything goes because unfortunately on Toy Hacks sticker map online, he's shown in robot mode instead of cassette mode. But if you look at the decals and the way they're placed on the sheet, like right here, these are all of Ravage's decals. 
they line up perfectly. Oh, got them upside down. They line up perfectly with how they go on the figure. You start right here, and you can see like this little shape here is the middle. Right here is there. So just follow along with here, or follow along with the decal sheet, and you're good to go. And I really like how Toy Hacks made him look like a real cassette. Of course, I had him upside down. You got the 60 up here, the MC60, Japan. It looks like the spool there on the inside. The spool details there, metal position A. I really like the looks of this. He looks like a cassette, and it is glorious. So there you go, guys. There is Ravage After. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Soundwave looks amazing and very faithful to his Generation 1 counterpart. Taking a closer look at the figure, love the head sculpt, especially his light-piped eyes. I mean, this figure has some of the best light piping ever. Let me get him under the light here so you can take a look. That is awesome. I love that. Look how deep red that is, and it really doesn't take much light to really fire that off. I love the looks of that. Paint applications around his chest tape deck door. Decepticon insignia right there in the middle. Uh, my one complaint, I do not like that translucent plastic. You can look right through and see Soundwave's interior. I know the original G1 figure had the clear chest. I'm just not a fan. We got some yellow paint applications here on the side. Moving on down to the waist, we got the silver buttons that carry over from tape deck mode let's see got some silver here on the shoulders down here on the legs we got silver knees gold underneath the knees and silver for the shins and that's pretty much it for paint applications some silver up here on the shoulders so all in all a great looking sound wave figure and i cannot wait to see what toy hacks can do for him so there you go guys sound wave in robot mode before and after soundwave gets a superior upgrade thanks to toy hacks and the first decal you're probably noticing is the new decal for his chest you do get a couple different options you get the blue that i picked or you get this black decal i of course went with blue because it looks more like his cartoon and comic book appearance from generation one and of course you also get a Brand new purple Decepticon logo for the chest. Taking a look at the head, he gets a new chrome decal for the mouth plate that I think looks really good. Love how that chrome catches the light. New decals here for the shoulder cannon. You got these red and black stripes and some red right there in the center. On the shoulders, you get these tiny red decals along with these three yellow decals and this little blue one. And those are all individual, and they are fun to put on. You also get new red decals there for the wrists. Down here by the crotch, or on the crotch, you get these chrome decals for the buttons that actually now say play, stop, and record. His concussion blaster also gets the red and black stripes, and red there at the base of the barrel. Moving on down to the knees, he gets new red decals. And right here on the knees, you get these black decals with the red and yellow squares. Now, cool hidden decals within Soundwave's chest cavity. There's a decal right there that shows a cassette. And flip him around, he's got a technical readout for the Nemesis. And I dig that. That is really cool. Now, Soundwave did come with eye decals, but I just couldn't bring myself to put decals over that glorious light piping. So if you want to see what Soundwave looks with those eye decals, let me bring in the Toy Hacks Siege version. So right there, that's what those eye decals would have looked like. They look great, and I didn't mind putting them on the Siege figure because he had the yellow eyes, and I've never been a fan of Soundwave with the yellow eyes. Also, I want to point out, let me put Netflix Soundwave here beside Siege Soundwave. Toy Hacks did not reuse the same decals. So kudos to Toy Hacks right there. That could have been an easy out, but they make these two look completely different, and I love it. So there you go, guys. Soundwave in robot mode after. 
in micro cassette recorder mode, straight out of the packaging, Soundwave looks great and still retains a lot of the paint applications from robot mode. There are a few sculpting differences though. You see the right and left right there with the molded in speakers. Down here on the buttons, you've got the play, the stop, record, fast forward, and rewind. The record battery right there. And that's pretty much it. Not a lot of new paint applications, but man, does this guy look good. This is the sound wave we were waiting on for years. He doesn't turn into some weird spaceship. So there you go, guys. There is Soundwave in micro cassette recorder mode before and after. Soundwave's micro cassette recorder mode gets quite a few new decals thanks to toy hacks. Of course, we've seen all these before in robot mode, but the cassette specific decals include new decals right here on top of the figure. These are vinyl decals that wrap all the way around, so you want to get a heat source to make sure those mold correctly to the figure. There's also a counter decal right there. New silver decals here for the speakers. Moving on down, you get new decals here for the bottom of the cassette mode that covers what was light blue and now has a darker blue that matches the rest of the figure, including a new recorder battery logo right there with a light so that's pretty cool new decals right here that went on that light gray plastic that makes it match more with this center plastic piece here there's also a decal that says walkman also on top of sound wave new blue decal right there that covers up that gray section so all in all really nice job on sound waves recorder mode that makes him look even more Generation 1. So there you go, guys. Soundwave in micro cassette recorder mode after. Toy Hacks once again knocks it out of the park with this decal set for Netflix Soundwave. I thought this figure was awesome before, but as usual, Toy Hacks greatly improves the looks of this figure. I wish more could have been done with Ravage and Laserbeak. What they did get is not too bad, and there's no amount of decals that can fix Ravage anyway. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! <laughs>